Jess from Marks and Motherhood and today I am super excited to do this comparison for you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions about the Junko bags and the Fawn Design bag. Now, Junko is a fairly new company. It came out in March 2019. They have premium oiled full leather that their bags are made out of. It's created by a mom. And this bag is the tote style bag that I actually got over Black Friday weekend. She had an awesome sale going on and I have been obsessed. This is the only bag I've been carrying since I got it. So I've carried it just about a month, just over a month now. And it shows no signs of wear. It still looks brand new. I've been super impressed and it's just a great minimalistic diaper bag that looks really sleek but can hold a lot. And then, since reviewing this one for you guys, I'll link the review down below. I've been asked a lot about the backpack, and Junko was kind enough to send me this one so I could do a comparison for you guys. Now, I did just get this bag, and I'm planning to use it as my hospital bag, so it'll be a while before you get my full review. Every time I see a recommendation for Junko, they talk about the backpack and how much they love the straps and how easy it is to access things from the different pockets, so you really can't go wrong. And this color, the blush color, is actually on sale right now, so it's a really good time to snatch one up if you've been eyeing it, and I will link her store down below. But the font design you guys are pretty familiar with, I've done tons of packing videos, I'll link the playlist down below. Today I'm just going to show you guys what I carried this last weekend as we were out and about at a family event and church and just show you guys all of that and then pack it into each of the bags. So hopefully it'll answer all your questions, show you the internal organization, and then I'll share a few pros and cons. So let's take a look. So this is everything that I'll be packing up inside of the bags. I have these almond butter biscuits and a granola bar. Then I just have gum and chapstick, my Fawn Design clutch. I have this quiet activity which I've showed in past videos where you just unscrew it, take these out, screw it back on, and they push them all back in through this hole. Then I have this slim water bottle. and. We all use it, probably not the smartest thing during flu season, but I'll sometimes take other cups for my kiddos, but this is the one we usually use, even though sometimes it leaks, just because the straws work best for us. Then I have this Disney Baby Bib from The Sensible Mama. It comes in a three pack, and this Itsy Ritzy small packing cube is also from there. It has all of my makeup essentials in there. And then the dimple, also from there, is one of my son's favorite things because you can just press them all in and then turn it around and do it all over again. So easy, compact sort of activity. Then I have some hand sanitizer from the Honest Company, lotion from Bath & Body Works, Kleenex, two size 6 diapers, an itsy ritzy wipes case with Pampers wipes in it, a small jujube set piece that has little farm animals in it in a set we got from Target and it has six but five of them fit in here really well. Then in this one I got it from a shop on Etsy but it's just a bunch of little styrofoam pieces that you hook on a shoelace which kept my really all of my kids four and six entertained. My 20 month old needed a little help with it but it was a really popular activity and I need to add a couple extra shoelaces to this one. Then these are my toddler's favorite books so we always have one of these in our bag. I have the UB pencil case which might look kind of scary after this weekend. But I have pencils, plain drawing pads and then some play packs in the back just depending what they're wanting to do with it. And then lastly I have a Logan and Lenore petite pouch which is the same size as any like itsy ritzy snack case but it has magnetic blocks in here. Just a handful of them that my kids don't normally get when we're out and about. So it was more of a popular activity this week but that all fits inside of there really well. And that's everything that I'll be putting inside of the bag so let's take a look inside. Alright so first I'm going to show you everything all packed up in the June Co. carry-all tote. So 
I have the water bottle here in this side pocket, the hand sanitizer and lotion in this side pocket, the bib and Kleenex in this middle pocket here, and then in the zipper part I have gum and chapstick. And then I don't have anything in this back slip pocket or in this back zipper pocket just because I didn't pack any Clorox wipes this time but that's normally where they would go. Now for the inside, this is everything packed up inside so I'm going to pull out the stuff in the middle first. I have my snack pouch, my UB pencil case, a book. The quiet activity, my small jujube set piece, another quiet activity, and the dimple toy. And that's everything in the center there. And then I don't have anything in the side insulated bottle pockets. Then here in these back two pockets, I have two size six diapers, an Itsy Ritzy's wipe case with some Pampers wipes. And in this back zippered pocket, I have the makeup essentials that I need in my Itsy Ritsy small set piece. And then on this side, I have my Fawn Design wallet and all the snacks in the pocket next to it. All right, and that is all for everything inside of the June Co. Tote. As you saw, lots of internal organization. So everything fits in there really nicely. It isn't super heavy and has been working really well. All right, so this is everything inside of the June Co. backpack. I haven't actually carried this one out and about, but I love the organization of it, and now you're gonna see why. So, here on top, there is a zipper pocket, which is where I keep my gum, just because my kids won't find it. And then the chapstick, otherwise my 20-month-old would be putting it on all the time. Then, here in the front zipper pocket, I actually have my Fawn charging clutch just so that it's easy to access without having to dig inside of the bag. And that fits really well in there as you saw with room to spare if you wanted to stick your chapstick, keys, other necessities in there as well. So kind of a weird angle to stick it in but it does fit inside of there really well. So. That's where I have that. Then here on the side is the water bottle. Here in the identical pocket, I have the Kleenex, lotion and hand sanitizer. All right, and then there's nothing in these back pockets. I do plan to keep my phone in this back zippered pocket just because it's easy to access while it's still on. And then obviously when she's getting older, I'll probably have stuff for the doctor and different things in this slip pocket just so it's there. Now for the inside. I'm going to take everything out of the middle compartments and then I'll show you guys all the pockets. So just here in the center, I have the dimple toy, the small jujube set piece, quiet activity, the UB pencil case, another activity in this Logan and Lenore petite pouch, and then another quiet activity. And that's everything in the center there, so as you saw, it can fit quite a bit. Then in these two pockets right here by the front, I have a bib in one and all the snacks in the other. So, makes them a little easier to access if I just wanna unzip and go right inside and get them. But I don't have anything, again, in the insulated bottle pockets here on the side. Then here in the back, I have two size six diapers in this pocket, the wipes in the pocket next to it, then back here in this slip pocket, if I didn't have our iPad, another great spot for books to have them tucked away, and then there is a zipper pocket right here, and it has the small itsy ritzy packing cube. So that's everything inside of the backpack, lots of great organization as well. All right, and lastly is the Fawn Design Original in the stone color. So here in the front zippered pocket, I have my gum and chapstick. I can get it out. 
And there's the chapstick. Then in this back slip pocket here, I have the Kleenex. In this side pocket, I have the water bottle that even packed full slips in and out really easily. Then in this side pocket, I have the lotion and hand sanitizer right there. And in the back pockets, I don't have anything. So there's the back zipper pocket and the slip pocket, but I don't have anything inside. Now for the inside. Again, I'm just going to pull everything out of the main compartment and then show you guys the pockets. So I have the dimple toy here on top, the small jujube set piece, the UB pencil case, the book, the Logan and Lenore petite pouch, a quiet activity, and another quiet activity. And that's all that's in the center. Then in this back pocket, I have my Fawn charging clutch. And in the zippered pocket is where I have the Itsy Ritsy small packing cube. It does tend to kind of take up some room in the bag when it's in that zippered pocket, but it's the best option unless you want to put it on the outside somewhere. Like I probably could have just tucked it in right here and just had it bulge out a little bit there. Then in the side pocket here, I have the bib. And in this side pocket over here, I have all the snacks. Then lastly, in these two pockets, I have the wipes and the two size six diapers. So lots of internal organization as well. The zipper pocket just tends to take up some room if you have something a little bulkier to go inside. So just keep that in mind. All right, so that is all for the packing comparison. Hopefully it gave you guys a pretty good idea of which bag will work well for you and um, which one you would like to use. This one is my favorite right now just because it's more of a minimalistic bag. It's easy for me to pack. I really love the zippers that make it more of a streamlined look on the side, all the internal organization, and it's just a really smooth, full leather. I also really like that there's the double zippers on the top to access things and that you also have the option of backpack straps to wear this as a backpack and not just as a tote. So that's always a plus with that bag. This one feels super smooth and slouchy and I just love the look of this bag. The outside organization is really great as far as accessing things when you're holding it. The padding on these straps feel really nice and I am super excited to use it. It has a grab handle which is also nice and the double zippers which makes it nice if you don't want to be forced just to open it one way. You can open it a little bit, open it a lot and get inside of your bag. The lining's really nice and this pocket's huge so lots of great features on this bag. Now this is the first time I've noticed any chipping on the Fawn bags. I haven't had that as bad before. The other con is just the one zipper when you're opening it and also that the bag can get kind of heavy the more you pack inside of it. But the main reason that I love this bag is I feel like the matte leather, the pockets and everything work really well as you saw as I was pulling things out. And I never worry about liquids spilling inside of my bag because I can just pull out the liner, shake it out and put it right back. Whereas with a lot of other ones you're kind of stuck airing it out and washing it or whatever else where this one you can just wipe it and be done. So kind of just depends what you're looking for. This one also has the grab handle, the backpack strap option, or the crossbody strap option. So all of them I feel like work really well. They all have super smooth, soft, full leather. They are all started by moms and I have enjoyed using all of them and I'm excited to start using this one. But if you guys have any other questions, just comment down below and let me know and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.